You know, I had somebody once tell me that like wearing hats makes you go bald. Like if you wear caps and toques and all that type of stuff, and by the way, yes, it is a freaking toque before you Americans. Oh, <laughs> actually, that's a beanie. Lick my freaking balls, brother man. But I had somebody tell me that like wearing them makes you go bald or increases the rate at which you go bald. I don't know. I don't know how true that is, if it even is true at all. Because if it's true, I might honestly be a little fucked. I mean, right now I'm only wearing a hat because I just hopped out of the shower laced with the baby powder. Curly is a mother freaker. I got like that little, little springies, dude. Hey, YouTube, how freaking doing? Hey guys, Dequa here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Back here on some more Modern Warfare 3, literally like five days away, depending on how you look at it, like four or five days away from Black Ops 6 at this point. Technically, it drops on like the 24th, but it's at like 9 p.m., but that's only for North America. So if you're from the UK, then it's in the morning and the 25th. So for me, I'm going to be grinding at night on the 24th. I know some people are able to do that thing where you set yourself to like fucking New Zealand or some shit. New Zealandic, Icelandic, Greenland. Is New Zealand in freaking Australia? Crikey, mate. That dude's got a bloody weeaboo fucking card. Fuck off. No way. My dude's got a weeaboo thing. First game on though let's hope SBMM blesses me umm is supposed to make me want to play the game but it's like the other day we ended up getting a blog revealing a ton of stuff for black ops 6 coming up like all the maps the weapons they talked about some like features and stuff i think there was also something about the anti-cheat and dude the amount of people already pissing and moaning is actually kind of ridiculous the game isn't even out yet and people are already complaining brother man calm the frick down some of the shit is kind of a yikes so i'm not gonna lie but most of it looks pretty okay like most of it looks actually good bro i can't aim holy shit please look away turn your monitors off close your phones brother man's you be holding that shit in one hand i know it but it's like dude the game's not even out and people are already just absolutely losing their mind mostly due to a bunch of the stuff when it comes to the perks i've also seen a lot of people like oh my god activision is freaked up black ops 6 is literally dead on arrival bro you got a shotgun but black ops 6 is dead on arrival because the anti-cheat it's not good it's bad bad anti-cheat but to be fair activision did kind of freak up pretty heavily with having that exploit i mean they did fix it they did address that they you know they're tweaking things they're gonna try to improve it but a lot of people i think are just losing faith in the anti-cheat at this point I and I'm gonna be honest, it's one of those things where it's like, I need to find a new lobby. I don't like this map. First game on, like, give me a map that's actually kind of fun. I don't wanna play on a pot plant. But, like, realistically, I don't think Call of Duty's anti cheat is that bad. It's just, it's not good. I think all anti cheats out there kind of suck. I mean, it's always like a never ending battle where the anti cheats are just playing catch up all the time. But out of all the shitty anti cheats, I do think COD is one of the better ones. I mean, Valorant, that's better because it's running 24 7. It is curdle level, just like technically Call of Duty's is too. But because Call of Duty's anti cheat doesn't run until you launch the game, it's more reactionary than preventative. Bro, like what what is this map selection get me the fuck out i'm literally just gonna queue for some gun game i used to actually like to play gun game all the time which is apparently one of like the first rumored party modes to be coming to black ops 6 i think it was gun game and infected i don't know for sure i mean i saw that somewhere it could be wrong the frick if i know but overall there are some takeaways that i do think were positive from the whole reveal of everything coming to the game like the first one being we don't got riot shields which i know for a lot of people it's gonna be a heartbreaker you can't just sit there fucking crouch with your riot shield out there with uh, throwing knives like a fucking absolute baby boy scared shitless because you suck on the sticks but one i hate playing against riot shields i just i i fucking it drives me up the wall i'd rather play against a team of all snipers and shotguns than fucking riot shields but two when going for the camo grind i also absolutely hate going for the riot shield camos sitting there having to get like melee kills and uh, it's just it's not fun it is not fun unfortunately i just i don't see them going all year without the riot shield i feel like it's gonna come to the game at some point i hope i'm wrong but riot shields are one of those things that i feel like help bad players kind of like how a lot of people are freaking out that last stand is returning to call of duty which to be fair i don't think i've ever played a cod with last stand i know it's i know it's a perk that's been in a few cods and a lot of people don't like it the closest thing to last hand i think i've ever actually played with would be like nomad from black ops 3 he had an ability where when you killed him he could respawn but you never went into a prone state with a pistol or nothing bro oh my god that is a slow ass pistol i mean sniper Bro, I'm actually kind of piss slamming. Wait a minute. Dude, what if I nuked it? Actually, technically, I can't even nuke. I don't know what it's called in gun game when you go with it without dying a single time. I know in free for all, if you can get 30 and 0, it's a nuked out. I don't know if gun game's got something like that. I feel like playing an entire gun game without dying is actually probably not that hard. Like, it's not going to be easy, but I think it's definitely doable. Like, compared to doing like a 30 and 0 in a free for all, I think doing an 18 and 0 or whatever the gun game score limit is is probably easier. All right, let's see. We win it here. 360 and. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. That was like a two minute game. I'm playing fucking gun game at two in the morning. I don't know what I expect. But yeah, literally looking online, a lot of people are absolutely freaking out about the last stand. Now, apparently it's not actually a perk like it's been in prior CODs. It's supposed to be a field upgrade. Now, I don't know if that means you're going to get it multiple times in a game or since it's a field upgrade, maybe it has a longer recharge rate and you only get it like once or twice. It's going to be annoying regardless if you die to it. But I got to see how it works first before I actually complain about it. Because if it's like you kill them and then there's a delay between them dying and falling to the ground and pulling out their secondary, if there's a 
delay and you're able to actually still gun them, then I think it's not going to be that big of a deal. But if they're able to instantly just whip out that freaking pea shooter and just bop you a few, like it, it would definitely be annoying to have your kill streak ruined over that. It's like in one of the past CODs, I think it was like Modern Warfare Remastered. So obviously it would have been like the original Modern Warfare where they had that perk where if you die, you drop a grenade. Holy shit. If they added something like that, I know that stuff is there for bad players to get kills, but it's fucking annoying. But yeah, so we got no riot shield. People are a little upset about the last stand thing. We also are only getting two shotguns, which I'm actually really glad about. Fucking hate shotguns, dude. Only two though does kind of feel weird, but overall it's just going to make the camera grind a lot nicer. There's certain weapons that I hate going for. And I think shotguns and melee weapons are probably the two that I hate the most. Melee weapons aren't too bad. If you can get like a shipment 24 seven type playlist and just run it down. But if you have to play a bigger map and actually use like a stun and which I'm already imagining is probably going to be some of the challenges to like get a kill on enemies that are stunned. Like that shit's not too fun. But if it only requires you to do it like 10 or 15 times, it's super doable. You're not going to have no problemo. Oh shit. Oh shit. What type of dick tickler sniper is that? Bro, you got your rank play skin on in your fucking slide canceling my shit. I did too good first game on. Now the SBAM is going to kick my ass. I got sweaty fucking rank play dudes in my gun game lobbies. Brother man, what the fuck? Let me lock in here real quick. Let me just miss every... Oh. I don't want to talk about it. I, I, I don't want to talk about it. The biggest issue I have when playing gun game is I'll get a gun that I don't realize is a semi-auto. Like I don't realize you have to tap it. So then I go to get in my first gunfight and I'm holding the trigger to realize I just got to tap it. Holy shit. I got, okay. Sometimes they're just better than you. It is what it is. But I mean, overall looking at everything with Black Ops 6 and the amount of stuff that they've changed and everything that's actually going to be in the game, I'm super excited for Black Ops 6, dude. I know I'm, I'm part of the problem. I'm the reason Activision's never going to make a great game again. <laughs> I know. Because I open my wallet and I pay them. I pay the big bad boogeyman. But honestly, overall, dude, like I'm actually excited. Even when it comes to the the zombies community and stuff. Well, I'm not massive into the zombies. I definitely plan on playing it and doing like the camera grind for it. There's some stuff that I've heard that's kind of like iffy, like with the Easter eggs and stuff still. But a lot of people were complaining that it's too bright, it's too happy, and like the HUD wasn't good. And supposedly they went ahead and changed everything and they made the map like darker and more ominous. Uh, is that the right word? Spooky. Made it more spooky. Spooky and scary. Rar XD. Bro, I swear if my first game back of domination, I'm joining in late on a losing team, I'm going to tell. Please, please don't. Don't fucking do it. Okay. I'm technically on the winning team and it's not really that late. I'm okay. I'm chill. Dude, what type of skin is this? Dude, this shit's like weird. Am I the only one that actually prefers the more just slick and simple camos? Like, don't get me wrong. I fuck with dark matter, but a lot of the other camos that they've added into this game, like that rainbow neon, what, like bro, the one that changes colors and just glowing. I don't, I don't like that. If I can make it just stay on one color, I'd like it a lot more. I don't like rotating colors. Same with that smoke skin that it like actually makes you feel motion sick when you use it. The one that you got for the Halloween event there. Some camos I'm just not a big fan of. Like this, this is the camo that I'm talking about. This shit, bro, this camo would be so dope if it didn't change colors. I would rather just be constant green or constant red or bro. Okay, I, I don't know what the fuck that gun is. I thought I hit the shot, but apparently not. All right, give me this. What is this gun? And yeah, I get killed by a goddamn otaku running through the closet. But overall, like I'm genuinely super excited for Black Ops 6. If it can maintain the level of fun that I've had in Modern Warfare 3 here in Black Ops 6, it will be a good year. Like I genuinely think MW3 here was actually a really good game. A lot of people kind of shit on it, you know, $70 DLC and all that. But dude, just overall, all the content that we got, like post-launch, the amount that I actually feel like the developers listened. If Black Ops 6 can pull off the exact same thing that MW3 here has, I, I genuinely think we're in for like a good, good year. Right now, if I were to be a little pessimistic and a little bitchy and mopey, my main concerns are probably the maps. I don't think they look bad. It's just they look very small. And I know a lot of people like the small maps, but I also enjoy playing rank play and, you know, the more competitive stuff. And on the smaller maps, that might be a little problematic. I don't know yet. You have to really get on them and play them to see just how small they are. And maybe they can flow right. I don't know. But if they are super small, like they all look, it might be a little problematic for the uh, the more competitive esport rank play TTV or type, uh, type of players. Come on, peek it. Bro, I have no ammo. Peek it. Peek it. Yes, in my ass, just come. I've seen some other stuff that people have spoken out about their concerns when it comes to Black Ops 6. And they're like, oh, I'm so concerned that the SBMM is going to be super strong. And brother, man, I'm going to keep it a buck. It's probably going to be as strong as it is in MW3 here. If you think it's really strong in MW3, well then, I, I guess in Black Ops 6, it's probably going to be really strong. Like that, that would be my guess. I'm going to assume it's going to be the same level as Modern Warfare 3 here. So honestly, I don't mind. Like I'm not a fan of SBMM, but it, it doesn't ruin my gaming experience. UMM is definitely a little bit more shady, but even that, I just, if I'm able to click play and have fun, I don't care. If 
if it's EOMM, SBMM, I, 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 I don't, I don't care. If I'm having fun, I'm having fun. That's what I judge the game off of. Honestly, I really hope they fix the whole two boxing thing. If anything, come BO6. Like I'm genuinely sick of seeing all these people two box for absolute bot lobbies, playing literally fucking tiny Timmy's over there just so they can drop their uh, TTV best Warzone loadout nuke class setups. Bro, you better not have no scope. I swear. Yeah, if, if I go to do that shit, nothing. I think something else I'm a little like tweaked out about. Bro, you are not trying to 360 on me. I, I was talking about me tweaking out. Dude, that brother man there is freaking tweaking. He's on the rocks. Sorting a little too much G fuel in the morning. Holy shit. But one of the things that I'm kind of more so tweaking about when it comes to Black Ops 6 is the time to kill as well. I don't think it was super fast, even though apparently on paper, it's actually one of like the slower CODs or it's on par with some of the more slower CODs, you know, Black Ops 4 side, just because that game had an absolute. I, I mean, actually, I really like the Black Ops 4 time to kill personally, but it was pretty long. It's like the longest a COD has ever seen. It wasn't for everybody. But during the Black Ops 6 beta, it felt like you would just die two bullets and it felt like you were killing people in two bullets or at least for me it felt like that so i'm curious to see how the time to kill feels once the game actually launches because maybe it was just something to do with the servers all being acting up and at, at, at all all acting up holy shit Enemy holy shit that jump scared me <laughs> she scared the fuck out of me for a sec <laughs> lol oh that was a pretty easy game nothing too crazy but not too bad can't tell how many times i died because the game refuses to show you i wish we'd go back to the days where they would actually show katie on the scoreboard i understand they don't want us to like they don't want people roasting their teammates and be like bro you're fucking 10 and 19 right now but dude like let me see what my katie is 39 and 12 not too bad i'll take it but yeah i mean overall super excited for black ops 6 literally gonna be playing it within four days 24th 9 p.m my time I'm, I'm i'm loading up the game i know a lot of people are grouping up to do a race to prestige and everything i'm definitely gonna be going for max prestige but i'm not gonna like rush it. i'm not gonna burn myself out on it. My main focus is going to be the camera grind. Plus, there's no point like racing for top prestige because everybody who's doing it is going to be in groups. So there's going to be 24 seven playing. And I don't think it matters how much G fuel Adderall and freaking monster energy drinks I mix together. I'm not going to be able to play for 24 hours. Now, if I can get my hands on some Coke, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I was meaning Coca-Cola, the soda. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Super just... I I don't fucking know. Kind of had a point, kind of didn't. Morning energy got me buzzing a little bit. But nevertheless, let me know down below. Are you guys excited for Black Ops 6 a couple of days away? And uh, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and share subscribing. And uh, see you later. Deuces.